Each side is a base. There are three sides, therefore there are three bases. From each vertex or point, the line drawn from the vertex to the opposite side that is perpendicular to that side is the height. Bases and heights are always perpendicular. So if you have two lines that come together to form a right angle, that's going to be your base and height. The two lines will be your base and height. So here I can go from this vertex to the opposite side and make a right angle. So therefore, this is the height, one of the heights, and this is the base. I can also go from this vertex down here. Therefore, this is a height with this base. And then this vertex over here will go with this extended side. So this is a height where this is a base. For your homework and for practice, what you'll be doing is actually using the formula one half base times height is your area. You'll also need to know how to find the perimeter. So for area equaling one half base times height, I'm going to substitute in the place of B, my base, whatever side is perpendicular to this height, 8. In this case, my height of 8 is perpendicular to the side that has a measurement of 6. So therefore, I'm going to use that side as my base. So my base is 6 when my height is 8. So my area is going to equal 1 half of 48, which is going to be 24. To find the perimeter here, I just add up all the sides. So the perimeter equals 7 plus 6 plus 10, which is 13 plus 10, which is 23.